Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And in this video tutorial, I've got a larger version of my lidded milk carton box. That inside, I've got one of these Starburst Jelly Beans Easter Eggs. This is the 1.6 ounce. I found this at Target, but I've also heard these are available at Dollar Tree. But it's a really great size. It's the larger size of Easter Eggs, and I sized this box to fit one of them. It's a really sweet box. I love how it's got the lid so the recipient doesn't have to untie the bow. And we're using the beautiful Bird Ballad Designer Series paper and the Timeless Tulip stamp set. I love this sentiment. Happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything. So let me show you how easy this is to make. We're gonna start with a piece of pool party cardstock that measures seven and three sixteenths by seven and three sixteenths. That's just one sixteenth less than seven and a quarter. And on all four sides, we're gonna score this at two and a half. I'm gonna bring the template in here really quickly. I'm gonna make some quick and easy score lines here. This is how we're gonna cut our box base. And I just want these tiny little half inch tabs. So to do that, I'm gonna score at two inches, but only down to the horizontal score line. Then I'm actually gonna flip the cardstock and do the same thing, two inches down to the horizontal score line. Then I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees and do the same thing. So two inches down to the score line, flip the cardstock, and then again, two inches down to the score line. And those short score lines are just there as a cutting guide for us when we go to cut this box base. Next, I'm gonna fold and burnish on all the score lines that go all the way across the cardstock. And then let me bring the template back again. So if we've got our cardstock, we've got our short score lines in horizontal mode. I'm gonna come in and cut up each of the vertical score lines and I'm gonna stop at the first horizontal score line that goes all the way across the paper. So we're gonna cut on both of the vertical score lines. Then I'm gonna rotate this 180 and repeat the same thing. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna come in and cut right on those little short score lines that we made and remove some of the cardstock bulk, like so. Now, since these are gonna fold into the box, I'm gonna come in and notch those just slightly. So they look like so, and I'm gonna do that to the remaining three tabs. All right, so now that looks like our template. Now before we go to put this together, I wanna to do the stamping. We're gonna use this great timeless tulip stamp set and the sentiment, happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything. The size of the stamp set is exactly the width here of the side of the box. So I wanna make sure that I stamp it right where I need to. I'm gonna stamp it down towards the score line because we wanna make sure that the lid does not cover the stamp set like so there it is and now I'm gonna come in with some tear and tape and I'm gonna run that right along the score line of each of these four tabs then I'm just gonna use the take your pick tool and remove the backing and then if you have any tear and tape hanging over the edge just fold it back on itself and now I'm gonna line up this score line with this cut edge and start to form our box corners now with the tear and tape, you don't get any wiggle room, so you wanna line it up just right before you press it into place. And I'm just gonna work my way around to all four corners. And there's the box base. I'll put my Easter egg in there, and let's work on the lid. For the lid, I've got a piece of pool party cardstock that measures four inches by nine and a half inches. And along the four inch side, I'm actually, the way I like to do this is I flip the cardstock over. I'm gonna score this at five eighths of an inch. Then I'm gonna flip it back over. So we've got our score lines on different sides of the paper. And we're gonna score this at two and a quarter. Now I'm gonna rotate it clockwise. And I'm gonna score this at two and a quarter, four and a half, six and three quarters, and nine. And then I'm gonna score, but only down to the first horizontal score line at three and three eighths. 
and seven and seven eighths. I think you can see those short score lines there. So again, only this score line that was at five eighths of an inch, I scored from the back side of the cardstock. And there's really no back side or front side. It's just whichever side you do the five eighths of an inch score line on, flip it over to do the rest of the score lines. Now bringing in a template here where we've done those short score lines, I'm gonna come in with a ruler and the ball tip of my stylus and put that at the bottom of the short score line, bring the ruler to it, and then I'm gonna score on the diagonal down to this intersection of score lines. I'm gonna do that in these diagonal patterns, just like the template. Like so. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is fold and burnish on all the score lines that go all the way across the cardstock. And then this 5 eighths of an inch score line, we're gonna fold that backwards, like so. Then I'm gonna come in right here along this little half inch section, and I'm gonna notch those edges in. And before we put the box together, we're gonna to adhere our designer series paper. This comes from the Bird Ballad designer series paper. And I have four pieces that measure one and five eighths by two and one eighth. They're in landscape. And then I have two pieces that measure one and a half by two and one eighth, and those are also in landscape. The two smaller ones are gonna go in the panels that don't have the diagonal score lines, and the four larger ones are gonna go on these four panels along the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Okay, now that the designer series paper is adhered down, we can go ahead and put our box lid together. I'm gonna flip it over and fold on the second score line from the left, and then I'm gonna apply glue along that little half inch tab. Then I'm gonna fold it from the first score line on the right. Those should line up just right. Now this is where our seam is, so this is our back panel. And then holding the four corners with my middle fingers and thumbs, I'm gonna push in with my index fingers on those little short tabs and watch how that goes together. I love how these milk cartons go together. See that on the side because we did those diagonal score lines. Love how that looks. And then this is gonna fit over our box base. Now it might take a little bit of time to get it to fit, but it is a snug fit. And look at that. Woo, I love that. All right, so I'm gonna use an eighth of an inch hole punch. Um, this has been retired from Stampin' Up, but it's an easy hole punch to get, or you could use a crop -a dial or something like that. And I'm gonna punch two holes on the lid, but I'm gonna come in a little bit further because I think if you notice, there's the little half inch tab on the back here. If we punch near that, it's actually gonna be five layers of cardstock we have to punch through. So try to bypass that if you can. So come in a little more than half of an inch and then punch. If your cardstock sticks to your punch, just push that little kickstand is what I call it. I'm sure there's a fancier name. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side here. like so, we've got two holes punched. And then I'm gonna use the Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon to close this milk carton. I love this stuff, it's a quarter of an inch in width. And I'm gonna actually double this up. I'm gonna fold it in half, and I think I'm probably doing about 30 to 32 inches of it. I wanna make sure that I've got enough to tie a bow here. Because it's double ribbon, I'm actually not gonna tie it off the spool but I'm just gonna take the folded end and we'll feed this through the holes on the milk carton lid in preparation to tie a bow. Now, if you have difficulty pulling this through, you can use a floss threader or the ball tip of your stylus, like so. Now, again, this is a folded end right now. We'll trim that after we tie the bow. I love how that double bow looks and it works so well with this crinkled seam binding ribbon, but I love that paired with this pool party cardstock, the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper, and this awesome Easter and spring sentiment. Love how it turned out. It's a perfect little box for so many different things. The interior dimensions of this box are just under two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and it's two and a half inches in height. Now, the egg can stick out of the top slightly because of the way the milk carton is shaped, and I love what the inside looks like. But again, you can find so many different things to fit in this box. It's a really good size. So many of you asked me to resize it, so I was excited to figure these dimensions out. 
and I just love the way it looks. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project measurements, details, and pictures of the templates. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. And if you don't want to miss a thing, you can subscribe to receive my blog updates via email, and you'll get an email every time I publish a new post. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, the starter kit is the ultimate bundle, and it's a great way to fill your wish list for less. I'd love to welcome you to my team of Paper Pixies and the Stampin' Up! family, and you can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like a complimentary copy of one of our catalogs, you can order catalogs through me at thepaperpixie.com catalogs. And if you give this project a try, I'd love to see what you made, so feel free to share it on social media with the hashtag paperpixie and I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.